How do you modernise a city with thousands of years of history? Edinburgh has ambitious plans to reach net zero by 2030, and that means town planners need to adapt some of the city's heritage. Take the buildings at Abbey Strand, just next to the King's official residence. Parts of them date back five centuries. Once a sanctuary for those on the run from the law, they've now become a sanctuary of a different kind for those looking for good local accommodation. And the key requirement for developers was using smart building technology to monitor and optimise the site's energy efficiency. People have realised, let it be in a residential sector or in the hospitality or in commercial building, um, the demand is there now. They want to have buildings that are catered towards a net zero, um, understand their carbon emissions. And no wonder, energy costs have risen drastically in the UK over recent years, with the average household paying almost twice as much in 2023 as they did just a couple of years before. The circuit monitoring systems here allow building managers to know exactly where power is being used across all their sites in the UK and act accordingly, allowing for smarter, more targeted decision making and saving up to 30% of energy costs. What we're finding now is we, we spend more time with the, with the, with the kit. Um, we can alter and change the building to suit how we want to monitor the information that's there. So, so we can quickly make financial decisions on where we want to push the money for investment and, you know, is it, is it, is it just kitchen equipment that, that, that consumes the most amount of stuff or is it, you know, the general running of the building itself? And there's always a, a sense of achievement if you, can, if you can identify areas of the building that are, yeah, they're unused but they're consuming. If you can shut that down, it makes a big difference, you know, it's a good, good feeling about it. Accelerating the energy efficiency of homes and buildings is the number one priority in Edinburgh's 2030 climate strategy. And that's something, say developers, that can only be achieved with the help of technology like this, bringing together building automation with energy monitoring and putting the cutting edge in the service of the deeply historical. It's, it's unbelievable um, that feeling of you made, you were a part of that project and did something for the city which I've lived for about 20 years, it's, uh, it's a special feeling.